Hey everyone, I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oro Reports. Yes people, it's time to return to the 100 acre wood again. If you may recall, about a year ago, I looked at Christopher Robin's live action movie, and as I said before, it was a great return to childhood, and I was happy that Winnie the Pooh and his gang not only brought back childhood to Christopher Robin, but also made new friends with his wife Evelyn and his daughter Madeline. However, I have been hearing on Facebook that Winnie the Pooh and Tigger's voice actor Jim Cummings has been going through a very stressful month recently. You see, about several weeks ago, he was accused of sexual assault, and after I found out, I reacted by saying that it sounded absolutely bullshark, meaning that I didn't believe that a great guy like Jim Cummings would do something like that. But, thankfully, before May was over, Jim Cummings' name was cleared. Whew, thank God. And to celebrate this, I'll be looking at a Winnie the Pooh film which focuses on my favorite character in Pooh's gang. Released on February 11, 2000, the movie is, well, the Tigger movie. Man, what a wonderful title. Anyway, let's get bouncing. In this movie, Winnie the Pooh and his friends are all busy preparing for winter, but Tigger's continual bouncing interrupts their efforts. After Rue asks Tigger if he ever had a family, and after a little conversation with Owl, Tigger decides to find his own family tree so that he can find other Tiggers for playmates. To make him feel better, Rue and the gang write a letter to Tigger, and of course they dress up like him. But when Tigger finds out who they really are, he becomes very upset, and he leaves his home and friends to search for other Tiggers. So, Rue, along with Pooh, Piglet, and the rest of their friends, soon must venture off into the Hundred Acre Wood to find him. So, what do I think? Well, since this movie revolves around Tigger, this is my absolute favorite movie out of any film in Winnie the Pooh's franchise. But to further explain why I love this movie, let's move on to Mustang Notes. Now, this film is the second theatrical Winnie the Pooh film after the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh from 1977. And, it was the first feature-length theatrical Pooh film that was not a collection of previously released shorts. Plus, it was the highest grossing movie in the Winnie the Pooh franchise until it was surpassed by 2018's Christopher Robin. As for the animation, well, in my opinion, even though this movie was released in 2000, it feels like classic 90s Disney-style hand-drawn animation, so there's nothing to complain about here. However, the wintry blizzard scenes make this movie very emotional, especially during the scene when Tigger runs away from home. Also, the avalanche scene nearing the end of the movie is very intense for a Winnie the Pooh film. Now, what would be a Disney film, let alone a Winnie the Pooh film, without memorable and wonderful songs? Like the original shorts, all the songs for this movie were written by the legendary Richard and Robert Sherman. And, in my eyes, I think this was a huge improvement over the songs they made for this trashy film. Anyway, not only do we have the classic Wonderful Thing About Tigger song, but we also have fun songs like whoop de Duper Bounce, where Tigger teaches Rue how to bounce the whoop de doop de loop de loop de <clears throat> whoop de duper loop de looper alley ooper bounce. Man, what a tongue twister. Then again, 
The Sherman Brothers did make a tongue twister for Mary Poppins, though. And we have Round My Family Tree, where Tigger anticipates what his family reunion will be like. To me, the most notable part of this song segment is that it incorporates many pop culture references and history references. Something unexpected for a Winnie the Pooh project. But it was also modified to be Tigger themed. Plus, this is my second favorite song in the movie. First being Whoop Dee Dooper Bounce. We also have an emotional song called Someone Like Me, sung by a very lonely Tigger. To me, while listening to this song, it makes me sympathize with him, and I like that the song is accompanied by several animals like hummingbirds, mice, bats, ordinary birds, fish, and squirrels. Next is Winnie the Pooh's Lullaby Song, where he sings to a, a swarm of bees to sleep so he gets some honey. And we have How to Be a Tigger, where Rue and the others dress up as Tiggers to pose as his family. The last song to talk about is Your Heart Will Lead You Home, sung by Kenny Loggins. Best known for such beloved hits like Footloose, I'm Free, aka Heaven Helps the Man, and Danger Zone. To me, this is the most touching and heartwarming song in the movie, and ever since I saw the music video on the Disney Channel years ago, it really touched my heart, and it brings a tear to my eye every time I listen to it. Now, let's move on to the characters and their voice actors. Now, originally, Paul Winchell was going to voice Tigger, but he sadly dropped from the project when the studio discovered that his voice was too raspy. So instead, Tigger's voice was given to Jim Cummings, who also voices Winnie the Pooh. Now, I love Tigger the most, not only because of his love for bouncing, even if it can cause him a bit of trouble sometimes, but, well, because he's such a rambunctious and fun character. As for Pooh, well, I think Jim Cummings makes Pooh so adorable and humble, and I think Pooh is sweet when he comforts Roo. Speaking of which, Rue is voiced by then-child actor Nikita Hopkins. Throughout the franchise, I love how Rue looks up to Tigger, and I like how the little nipper considers Tigger as his big brother. Plus, in this movie, I think Rue has a lot of potential to do that whoop de duper loop de looper alley ooper bounce. <laughs> Finally got it right. Also, I love how Rue tries to make Tigger happy, like when he and the gang write a letter, and when they dress up like Tiggers. Piglet is voiced by the late John Fielder, who has also been in Robin Hood, The Rescuers, The Fox and the Hound, and The Emperor's New Groove. To me, Piglet hasn't changed a bit in this movie compared to the original shorts. However, in this film, Piglet has been having a hard time finding a good amount of firewood to keep his house warm. Rabbit is voiced by the late Ken Sampson. Now, to be perfectly honest, guys, Rabbit is my least favorite character in this movie. Now, hear me out, okay? If you like Rabbit, that's fine, even if he's an okay character in several other Winnie the Pooh episodes, shorts, and movies, but I just can't stand Rabbit's fussiness or his no-nonsense behavior. And I don't like how he treats Tigger at times. I mean, after Tigger offers to help move a huge boulder from Eeyore's house by bouncing, 
which does end up ruining Rabbit's rock remover. He goes into a into a temper tantrum, which leaves Tigger saddened. Heck, Rabbit even scolds Pooh and the gang for neglecting their winter preparations. <sighs> but at least he makes up for it by leading the gang on an expedition to find Tigger after he runs away. Eeyore is voiced by Optimus Prime himself, Peter Cullen, who has also voiced a freight train named Pete in The Little Engine That Could. As usual, Eeyore is a gloomy and lovable donkey, and in this movie, his house gets smashed again, leaving Eeyore more upset due to the approaching winter. However, I did find it funny when Eeyore led Pooh and Piglet to a pond of frogs with black stripes, thinking that they're other Tiggers. Owl is voiced by Andrei Stojka, who voiced the Grim Creeper in Scooby-Doo and the Ghoul School, and he voiced the king in the Cinderella sequels. In this movie, while Tigger is looking for his family, Owl suggests that Tigger should find his family tree. I also think that Owl is still pretty funny, and I also like the scene where Owl helps his friends write a letter to Tigger from his family. Rue's mother, Kanga, is voiced by veteran voice actress, Kat Susie. Now, like her role as Wendy from Return to Neverland, I really adore Kat Susie's voice as Kanga, because I feel like her voice is very motherly, which actually fits the character. Plus, I really love the scene where Kanga tells Rue that Tigger is one of their family, and will always be, as long as they continue to care for him. Next we have Winnie the Pooh's best friend, Christopher Robin, voiced by Tom Attenborough, who would later voice Harry Potter in several video games. While he doesn't have a big role in this movie, I do like that Christopher Robin helps Tigger realize that his family actually consists of his friends, even though they aren't Tiggers. And I like when Christopher takes a picture of everybody for Tigger to store in a heart-shaped family locket. And the narrator is voiced by the late John Hurt. Need I say more? And now let's move on to my final words. Overall, the Tigger movie is a charming and lovable movie to come from the Winnie the Pooh franchise. While Pooh is not the main focus, and this movie is a tad similar to Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2, it's still a good movie nonetheless. The characters are all memorable and lovable, even though Rabbit does not start out so. The animation is gorgeous, and the songs by the Sherman Brothers are fantastic, and the story is absolutely heartwarming. So, I give this movie a full 100%. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in again for my next vlog, where I talk about another famous singer that I love to listen to. But unlike Bohemian Rhapsody from last year, we're gonna go crocodile rockin'. Mustang Power. Oh, and... TTFN, ta-ta for now!